Hi Lena, welcome on board this session. The topic of this session is Roll, Pitch and Yaw Control. So this particular topic is entitled to the subject Flight Mechanics and the target audience for this session are Gate Aerospace Aspirants, Aeronautical and Aerospace Engineering students. So we are following the Gate Aerospace Engineering syllabus for Flight Mechanics and in this particular session we will be focusing on this particular topic. So in the previous lesson we did know about the side slip. So in this session we will be first seeing about the axis of an aircraft. So we will be establishing the basic axis of an aircraft, the roll, pitch and yaw axis. Then we will be knowing about how to control it. And further we will be moving on to uh, the particular uh, description of these uh, individual motions that is roll, pitch and yaw. And we will be seeing about the uh, particular motion and the control action in particular to each of them. Further, we will be uh, getting some insights about airplane controls, movement, axis of rotation, and stability. So here, uh, at first, we need to establish the axis of an aircraft. So uh, these axes, what are these axes? These axes uh, is a plural, plural term for uh, axis, and uh, these aircraft axes are nothing but uh, three imaginary lines which are uh, used or that pass through the aircraft CG. So these are used to uh, uh, explain the motion of an aircraft. So the air, uh, axis, which is, uh, mm, so here, before knowing about axis, we will be seeing about the motion. So if the aircraft moves in this direction, so if the aircraft rolls, so this is uh, the axis about which it, it will roll. And uh, this axis is known as the roll axis. So the roll axis is also known as the longitudinal axis which passes through the length of the fuselage. Now uh, when we are concerned with the pitch, if the aircraft is pitching up and down, the nose up and nose down, and then it is also uh, following some axis or it is uh, pitching about some axis which is passing through the CG. So this axis is known as the pitch axis. So this pitch axis is also known as the lateral axis. So these are the technical terms which we, uh, will be used in the further portion of this syllabus and flight mechanics of course and uh, these are the generic terms. Uh, again uh, the next uh, motion is the yaw motion. So if the aircraft is in yaw motion uh, it is uh, following this particular axis and uh, this axis is known as the yaw axis and also known as a vertical axis. So the pitch axis basically uh, passes through the wings along the span of the wing. The roll axis is along the length of the fuselage and the vertical axis is along the height of the fuselage. This is how we remember it. And uh, there are some indications or some kind of control surfaces which are used to control these uh, aircraft or uh, put it in this particular motion. So before that, we will be naming these uh, control surfaces. So these are the flaps, which are not used uh, as of now. And uh, these are the ailerons. So these are the ailerons. So this is the elevator. And uh, this is the rudder. So these are the control surfaces which you are going to use for uh, further explanation. And uh, here, these uh, individual control surfaces control an individual motion. That is, uh, the ailerons on both left and uh, right side of the fuselage control the rolling action. Similarly, the elevators on the left and right side of the horizontal stabilizer or fin, horizontal fin. Uh, control the pitch and the rudder which is on the vertical pin controls the yaw motion of an aircraft. We will be seeing about this in detail and how this uh, particular control action is performed in the further portion of this session. And uh, one about one other uh, point about these are these three uh, control surfaces combined to form the primary control surfaces as they control the primary motions of an aircraft the roll pitch and yaw they are known as the primary control surfaces now we are focusing about roll so here is an uh, uh, visualization or animation of roll how an aircraft performs a roll so here we see the 
roll or longitudinal axis which is uh, spanning along the uh, fuselage length and uh, the aircraft is rolling um, in both the directions. Now uh, there are some standard uh, definitions before we get into it we will be see some, uh, we're seeing some uh, aeronautical uh, terminologies. So here I have mentioned the two terms that is starboard and right. What is what does this mean? The port and left. Uh, these are nothing but one and the same. The right and left is general uh, uh, naming or general notation which we use, and the starboard and port are uh, nautical terms. So these nautical terms are basically used uh, in pilot case or in case of uh, airport operations and everything. These are uh, basically adapted from the ship's terminologies from the olden days. So starboard means nothing but the right of the fuselage and port is nothing but the left of the fuselage. The starboard wing which means is the right wing and uh, port wing which means the left wing. Because this is of in uh, important uh, interest because there has been few questions asked by mentioning the starboard uh, terminologies. So they will be asking like, uh, what if we tilt or uh, lift the starboard uh, wings aileron up and the port wings uh, aileron down, how would the aircraft roll? So the, uh, for answering these questions, we need to know what is a starboard wing. And uh, here yeah, there are some sign conventions. So if the aircraft is rolling in this direction, so, the right wing going down uh, clockwise is and anti-clockwise differs from the perspective which we see so instead of it we can basically remember that if the right wing is going down it is positive and if the left wing is doing going down it is negative and uh, there is one other point of interest over here i have uh, colored it in two different uh, colors the starboard and the port wing so basically there are uh, kind of uh, lights which are uh, in, attached in the uh, wing tip portions uh, we can see uh, in night skies that uh, there are lights on aircraft which are glowing so it is difficult uh, to see from a distance whether an aircraft is coming towards us or uh, going away from us so it is important for navigation for that purpose for differentiating it uh, they basically uh, put a uh, green color light on the right wing and the red color or light on a left wing so if we can see so here if the red light is in this side and uh, there is a green light in this side we can uh, say that the aircraft is basically going uh, away from us and if it is in reverse so if the green light is in this side left side and uh, the red light is in this side we can see that aircraft is coming towards us so this is why this color uh, notation. Now uh, getting some deep uh, knowledge about uh, roll. The roll is basically controlled by aileron. So ailerons are nothing but uh, the control surfaces which are attached to the outboard trailing edge. We can we did see that uh, they are they were on the tips. So here these are the ailerons, these black surfaces. So here the aileron control is the roll about the longitudinal axis or the roll axis. So ailerons operate or move in opposite direction from each other. Here we can see if one aileron is going up, uh, the other aileron is going down. So this is a differential mechanism. So if one aileron goes up, the other goes down, so vice versa. So this rolling motion is associated with adverse ear. It's okay that uh, these ailerons roll, but uh, when this kind of action is performed, there is an additional yaw which is associated with this. It is known as the adverse yaw. We'll be knowing about this in the further portion of the syllabus. For now, we just uh, need to know there is some kind of yaw. So this is the differential aileron action. That is one aileron is uh, moving up and the other aileron is moving down. <laughs> Here we can see the control from the fuselage. So this is the control yoke or control column. So here uh, these are basically used to control the aileron. So we are moving this uh, control yoke, uh, tilting it towards the right. Uh, then the, there is a control action over there. And uh, here we can see the flight uh, in which the ailerons are 
uh, basically used. So here, one particular point of interest from a pilot's perspective is that, so if I want to uh, go to the left side, so I want to roll like this. For performing this, I would tilt my uh, uh, control column in this direction towards the direction which I uh, want to go. When I perform this, in order to uh, tilt towards this direction, the left aileron would go up and the right aileron will deflect down. So this will cause this particular motion. In ailerons, we need to know whichever side is going up, the side of the wing or aircraft will be going down. This is not only with the case of aileron, this is similar with the case of lab. So perhaps won't be going up, it's only used uh, going down. So here we are uh, further moving on to the next control motion that is the pitch. So pitch is nothing but uh, nose up and nose down motion of an aircraft. So this is uh, basically uh, uh, happening around some particular axis and this axis is known as the pitch or lateral axis. And this particular control motion or uh, motion uh, is uh, performed by uh, the elevator control system. Elevators are control surfaces which are attached to the horizontal stabilizer. So this orange portion is the horizontal stabilizer and the black portion is the control surface that is elevator. So this is the left elevator and the right elevator. Similarly, uh, in the previous case, we did see the starboard wing and the port wing. So as far the sign convention is concerned or the uh, nose up motion, so this motion is uh, positive and the nose down motion is considered as negative. Now knowing further about uh, pitch, as I said, the pitch is controlled by the elevator, which is attached to the rear portion of an aircraft. So here, this is the basic mechanism which will be operating. And uh, we did see that ele elevator controls pitch about the later axis, which is also known as the pitch axis. And uh, elevators are hinged to the horizontal stabilizer, as per the case mentioned over here. So if I uh, move the control column towards the pilot or uh, in this direction, the after moment, then uh, the aircraft will pitch up. Similarly, if I uh, move the control column in the opposite direction, that is a forward moment, the aircraft will pitch down, the nose down. So here we can see how it is uh, being controlled. So once I uh, pull it in this direction or uh, push it in the opposite direction, there is a pivot joint which is uh, basically uh, moving either in this direction or in that direction. So when this tilts, uh, the, there is an action which uh, performs uh, the final control action that is the uh, elevator moving up or down. So as I said, if a control surface is moving up, the resulting force will be in downward direction. The aerodynamic force will be in the downward direction. Similarly, if the uh, control surface is tilted downwards, the aerodynamic force will be in the upward direction. That's how it uh, basically acts. So this is a, a nose up or pitch up condition. And in some particular cases, the whole uh, horizontal stabilizer is used as a control surface. So this is known as a stabilator, where uh, the whole control surface, uh, the whole stabilizer portion is going to be acting as a control surface. And there is a trim tab which is associated with it. Okay, and uh, here we can see that uh, we are moving on to the next portion, the yaw. So yaw is nothing but the left and right motion of an aircraft. So the this is about some particular axis, and this axis is known as the yaw or vertical axis. So this particular motion is uh, controlled by the rudder, which is attached to the rear portion of the vertical fin. Here we can see that uh, if the right wing is going back, uh, it is positive, so this is positive, and the uh, left wing going back is negative. Instead of clock and clockwise and anti-clockwise uh, denotion, we are using these kind of notations because it won't be confusing. Here, as I said, the yaw is controlled by rudder. So, rudder controls the yaw about the vertical axis. 
and this vertical axis is uh, uh, also known as the yaw axis so this is about the cg and uh, this axis will be pointing down from this point so the rudder is hinged to the vertical stabilizer or fin and as i said if it is tilting in some particular direction the aerodynamic force will be in the opposite direction so the uh, tail will be moving in this direction if uh, the rudder is tilted towards the left and uh, this is will be causing a moment and uh, as a result of moment the nose will be tilting to the left direction so if we press uh, this is basically controlled by the pedal so here in the cockpit they will be having pedal so this is the pedal and uh, if we are pressing the left pedal so here we can see the left pedal being pressed the aircraft will yaw towards the left direction and if we press the right pedal the aircraft will be uh, performing a right yaw so here as i previously discussed when we uh, deflect the ailerons there is an additional uh, adverse yaw this adverse yaw is caused due to the differential lift and drag uh here we can see the lift and drag components are maximized comparing to this and this uh, will cause an adverse yaw in order to control this adverse yaw we are also using the rudder which is uh, deflected along with the ailerons so this is will uh, conveniently control the uh, yaw adverse yaw so here we see a consolidated insight about what we uh, known till now the uh, airplane controls the movement axis of rotation and type of stability so here are the primary control surfaces aileron elevator and rudder and what they control the aileron controls the roll and elevator controls the pitch and rudder controls the yaw and about uh, which axis they control is mentioned over here so the roll is about the longitudinal axis the pitch is about the so this is the longitudinal axis the pitch is about the lateral axis and the yaw is about the vertical axis and uh, further when we move on to the stability these uh, control actions result in the stability and uh, we need to uh, know this or control this for obtaining a stability and uh, for obtaining stability that is roll is concerned with the lateral stability of an aircraft and pitch is concerned with the longitudinal stability of an aircraft similarly yaw is concerned with the directional stability of an aircraft mm, i also always recommend you to go through the book and this particular book the pilot's handbook of aeronautical knowledge is free to download from the faa federal aviation administration's uh, website and uh, here it provides a deep uh, perspective from a pilot's perspective so it is uh, needed to uh, solve in the further uh, derivations so here uh, the particular chapter which uh, discusses or deals with it is the uh, chapter 6 the flight control and the page number is from 152 to 158 that's it for this session we did know about roll pitch and yaw and the primary flight controls thank you let's crack gate aerospace engineering